Hey, what is going on you guys? It is that time of year again. It is awesome and I've been hanging out for this game. Like literally, I have gone to the place to buy this game at least four times, each of which the game has been delayed. Which game are you asking? Do you have any idea what game it is? This is not a demo play, guys. This is the full game. Legit. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. Even my motor vlogging channel, it's right too. So, this is sick. Look at this, man. 5Ks in the odometer. Press menu button to start. So, let's do this. That is mint. I haven't played this game before guys so it's literally your first time playing it I'm probably going to suck because uh, I don't know what the rider uh, mechanics actually going to be like in this game uh, unlike Valentin or City game and stuff I know that I have to tweak a lot uh, to get the, my riding style right for the game so we're here at the startup screen and I'm just going to go through all the settings I'm going to go through exactly what it is like uh, when you first get this game so obviously I'm male, uh, some people may argue with that. <laughs> uh, the name of my rider, of course, is going to be Dusperdster, you know. The good old DS. wonder how long until it takes Nintendo to actually trademark that shit. I probably already have. Yeah, I'll just go over that. Create rider. Repping those Alpine stars. Yamaha. R1. I love that bike, man. I've actually ridden one of these in real life. They are such an aggressive motorcycle. So quick. I played a lot of Ride, the original, and I don't know if it did uh, much track sort of riding. I can't remember. Uh, it was a long time ago when I actually played that, but this one is doing some of the GP tracks. I know Nurburgring's going to be in it, so if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize, but that's going to be in it. So this game should be a lot better than the the original actual ride so this should be me i'm hanging to actually start playing this they're not gonna let me start with that there's no way they'll let me start with that there's no point waiting any longer this race in the greek hills will let you know if you've got what it takes i can I can't change any of the laps i'll keep the ai very easy at the moment uh standard Auto brakes, turn that crap off. You turn that off instantly, man, because you can't get the feel of the bike. Joint brakes, turn that crap off. You want front and rear wheel. Anti wheelie, tech, <laughs> wimp. Um, we'll have a manual, uh, full trajectory, uh, semi automatic, which doesn't really matter, and we'll have um, rewind on because I dare say I'm going to need that. Man, they are letting me start with an R1. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. Leg out. Let's do this. Me, repping my Alpine Stars, look a little bit like riding with Tom. At least it sounds like an actual Yamaha. Go up the inside here. Come on. Come on. Tilt through those. Oh, man. Oh, man, 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 man. Elbow down, knee down. Mark Marquez style. It is a lot like the Alpine in real life because it's got a really long first gear, really long first gear, and the anti wheelie is definitely off because this thing wants to just pop up that front wheel, man. All she's doing is pumping that front wheel up. Let's throw it into the corner. Come on, come on. Hard on the front brake, hard on the front brake. Don't let the front wash out. Put it through, put it through. Up the inside, up the inside. Oh, hard on brakes. Man, this bike is very forgiving. If you ride this in real life, man, you wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. Uh, as aggressive as what I'm doing, I am slamming this thing into corners. Not only slamming it into corners, but I'm really heavy on the brakes and almost taking my arm out on the wall. I've got to turn this music off, man. So I'm leaning it through the corner. That's about all I can hear is the bike. That's all I want to hear. I don't care about some Tekken sort of music playing in the background. Man, this is a nice track. On the front brake. I haven't even touched the rear brake. 
Well, it's got an oil can there. I think I just skipped a gear. Ran that really wide. That's shocking. I'm surprised no one's come up the inside of me. Anti wheelie is definitely off, man. That front wheel up in the air. I wonder how many people are going to mean that. Ah, oh, come on. Lean it through the corner. Let's apex it. Let's apex it. Now, the last time I actually played a uh, motorbike, motorbike game was um, Valentino Rossi the game, believe it or not. Now, this bike is actually surprisingly really easy to handle. I'd have to change the handling. I'm getting, like, no feedback uh, whatsoever. Like, it's really arcadey at the moment. I can change that, and I just blipped it to fourth. Um, it's... I've noticed the front end, you don't really get too much front end feel. Like, I'm rolling this thing into the corner and really hard on the brakes. And if you did that on Valentino Rossi, the game, you start washing out the front. And this is like a street circuit, so it's not even a real GP circuit, so you're lacking grip. Plus, you're actually running street tyres. There we are. Getting, getting a bit of the arse out. Getting the back of the bike, starting to step around. A little bit of a throttle up and just start getting that... Getting that rear wheel spinning. Now, I don't think they'll actually give me this bike. Last one, you had to actually buy your bikes. I think going different races, a lot like um, Gran Turismo sort of thing for bikes. But this is made by, this game is actually made by Milestone, and Milestone make the MotoGP games as well, so unless it's a quick shifter, I don't know how that works, I have to look into it. Uh, Milestone make all the MotoGP games as well, so this is just the street version of the Moto. Yeah, that's definitely gearing up by myself. I love that bike, man. I love that bike. A bike's soul reflects its rider's personality. Which bike are you? Is that a KTM Duke? That looks like a KTM Duke. It is a Duke. Then you got Husqvarna. You've got Scrambler. Don't know what one that is. Well, you got the Honda. What is it? CBR or NSR? What is it? I don't know. Old school. What I will actually do is... Yeah, it's NSR 125. Thank God I didn't believe really get that. What is this? Might go the Duke 690 to be honest with you. You got the Husqvarna 450. Martini. That's a. That's actually a 2016 model. Holy shit. Yeah, definitely not going the Honda. I reckon the Honda personally looks the best uh, because I like fairing bikes. No, nothing against naked bikes. I like all sort of bikes, but uh, looks wise, I prefer fairing bikes. So let's go the 690. Speed is your obsession. Excellent choice. And we'll go into customized bike. Let's check out the customization. What you sort of get with that. So you have all engine customization. So you do, do the heads and stuff on it. You can do electronics, air filter, exhaust, um, high quality oil. Gotta have that high quality oil. I was gonna say, if the high quality oil improves the horsepower. <laughs> Uh, which it may. Uh, you've got Arrow Exhaust or Akropovich. Or Akropovich. Um, how much money have we got? Do I... I must have some money. Oh yeah, 4,000. So I'll just put the exhaust on it. Won't worry about anything else. Do that slip on. You can do chain. So in the drive line, you got your chain. And transmission and quick shifter. It's a lot like Forza. This is a lot like Forza for motorcycles. So if you're into Forza and you like bikes, this is the game for you. It is a little bit arcadey. You will have to muck around with the settings to get it right. Once I muck around with the settings and get it right, 
it'll be awesome. You get that feedback through the bike, especially the front end. Um, I like having that feedback uh, when you're pushing into a corner, really pushing on that front wheel. I like having that feedback. Uh, now, suspension. You have braided brake lines, so you can change the color of your brake lines, your brake pads, brake calipers, brake discs, and your uh, suspension, so you got all your shockers and stuff like that. So you can have that whiz bang gold stuff. Now, here in the brakes part, does it physically? Yeah, it does actually upgrade the rotor, so it gives it a nice looking rotor. Ah, the brake calipers themselves. Which I'm actually surprised this is a single single caliper to be honest with you. Um, you change the color of your calipers. Uh, we'll exit out of that. Spray paint. You can also do your grips, your mirrors. Uh, you can do that fender eliminator, which I'm about to do now. Get rid of it. Looks a bit... Actually, it looks a bit weird. Take a fender off, it's like a dog with an outer tail. <laughs> uh, you do triple clamps. Uh, oh, I'd say it'd just be changing the color of them, yeah. So changing the color of your triple clamps, you can do your brake levers. You'd probably be able to do shorty levers. Uh, no, it's just literally you change the color of your levers. Uh, so your eliminator, you probably do no mirrors, bar end mirrors, something along those lines. I don't know if I'm actually a fan of um, mirrors on naked bikes. Like, I know they serve a purpose for functionality, but you know sometimes they don't look uh, all that good with mirrors, but I'll leave them on for this uh, point in time. So then we get into grips. Now you got all your grips, you can go through, change all the colors, all that whiz bang stuff. Uh, the paint, now sometimes they only let you change, oh yeah, go on the black, the black for sure. You're gonna charge me for that? Are you serious? It's probably just the bice. No, I'll, I'll stick with the white. <laughs> Why? Seriously? Uh, then now you've got your tires, so you can change your wheels and tires. Wheels, I don't think, are a massive difference. You just change the sort of spoke layout. That's about it. And tires. You can upgrade them to all the way to slicks, so that's pretty good. Um, what are these? What are those? Now let's get into the rider. So now you've got all the riding gear as well. So you can do your track gear. You got your supermoto, your road, and your road two. So I dare say these are going to be different categories. I dare say you're going to have track get up for when you race track. You have supermoto for I don't know if you maybe if you buy supermoto or there may be supermoto races, and then you're going to have your road. So that that may be just interchangeable with um, with whatever race you're doing or whatever bike you're on. So let's customize. So let's get into helmet. Do you have AGV? Yes, you do. Oh, there you go. We've got Adrian Nickelodeon, people. <laughs> I actually like that. I like the Corsa. Um, what's it? It's the Sun and the Moon, I think it is. Rossi's Sun and the Moon helmet. I'm going to probably... I want to go the Sun and the Moon. I like the Sun and the Moon helmet. I do like, uh, like Adrian Nickelodeon's AGV. The uh, Pitster... What is it? Um, projects or um, specs or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. I'll just go. Yeah, keep that visor that I've got. Uh, Denise gloves. So you got Denise Alpine Stars. But they're Rossi gloves as well. Uh, shoes. CD Denise. Do they actually have proper boots? Nah. They're just, this is real squid net, you know. Jacket. I wonder. Denise jackets. So you got all your different jackets there. Uh, you got VR46. I think the reason why they got so much Valentino Rossi stuff uh, is because they contributed with the Valentino Rossi the game, so they'd have all that in their library and 
livery or whatever you want to call it so that they've, they've actually got the licenses to run all that sort of stuff what i actually set before was auto tuck <laughs> i set that to manual i actually thought it was the transmission so that is why it was gearing up for me so let's do a lap of the nova ring on my duke 690 single cylinder with an acro pipe on it because it gives it so much horsepower if you add that <laughs> what i will do is that i'll up it to semi-pro and just see how the bike handles jesus christ man it's auto drive at the moment that's when auto drive ends right now and i just go straight into straight into the sticks actually when the hell is auto drive gonna end there we go lean it through and this thing is really weird you just feel he must be like full tuck all the time he is he's full tuck all the time apex it it's like no feed feedback whatsoever the controller is not even vibrating i've run off the track and it vibrated like <laughs> the, the tiniest amount of vibration man fling this over Man, this is going to be one hell of a long lap. You must have to do oil changes and stuff. You'd have to, because it's got the oil light there. If I did that in real life, I would have just crashed. This is so drawn out. Yeah, normally on, um, I actually race this on racing car games all the time. Love Nova Ring, especially when it twitches and, and moves over the hills. Be an awesome track to actually do in real life. Love to do it on a bike. I probably wouldn't break any record times or anything. I tell you, because it's a pretty intense track. One of the best. One of, one of the most like beautiful tracks to look at. This probably was not the best bike to actually run around here. I hope to hell I don't have to do a race on this thing around here. There we are, I actually got a bit of feedback then, coming up over the hill. Just holding, holding the front brakes. Man, this thing won't even bloody wheelie. I have to try a wheelie, but my competitive side just won't let me ease up. I want to see how good I can do with my lap times. You do your one lap and then they go, ah, uh, yeah, that's your warm up lap. So now we're going to actually start the timer. Was that a person on the edge of the track then? I did not see. There's a helicopter there. It's a cameraman, I think. Track official, one of the two. Take a dirty picture for me. Come on. Redline it, redline it. Pass that power band. With this, you gotta just be full tuck all the time because it's such a. Uh, <laughs> there's no fairing or anything. You're literally copping all the wind, so this guy would be just like hanging on for dear life. 
And as for the trajectory, or the ideal trajectory, or whatever they call it, racing line, um, most of the time, I actually don't follow it, I'm not looking at it. What I'm actually looking at is the, now yeah, that I'm talking and putting my, most of my attention to you guys, but what I actually look at is the white line on the side of the road, because that's what you look at when you literally ride a bike. Uh, you, you look at the white line and that's how you determine how to take corners which if you ride bikes you know exactly what I'm talking about and then it gets more technical when you come into blind corners things on those lines but I won't get into that and this is just getting drawn out this the straight at the end is going to be massively long it's just going to take forever it's going to take me 45 minutes just to get down the straight do away with not even braking. I need to redo this on like a super bike or an R1 or something. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, we're getting further around the track now. completely pinned around that corner. Take the rear brake and just get it to slide, just slide a little bit into the corner. Mounted the curb. This thing just does not have... Really, there we are. Just doesn't have the... I love that. Not that. <laughs> Running off the track. This just does not have the power. It's really, really lacking. But you don't even get any twitching under braking or anything. I see where they start you off with these things. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't go the bloody 125. But again, it could have been the two-stroke. It would have gone, like, really quick. Whereas this should be just a torque machine, I reckon. Being a 690, this is where the jump is, isn't it? No. I love that, especially like in real life, the change of direction on the bike, it's so much fun if you come to a corner where it's a right-hander, and then you lift it up, go to a um, left-hander, so awesome, just the feeling, if, if you don't ride bikes, man, you're looking at getting into it, yeah, it is dangerous, like, I don't have to tell you that, but it is something that you will never, ever match, you know, just riding bikes is just so fun, it's so much fun. It's one of the best things you would ever do in your life. Coming through here. Damn second gear. Let's pop a mono. Is it going to do it? It will not pop a mono, man. Come on. Last bend onto the straight. Three hours later. Can I pop a mono? Oh, come on, man. Man, this thing will not pop a mono. Let's change the view. There we are. My god, you have to really work for a mono on like this. Endo, endo, endo. Woo! Oh, there we are, there we are. Oh. This concludes my video for Ride 2. This is pretty much the first getting into it, getting started, and taking you through all the customization and just everything you can get on the bikes and pretty much your apparel as well. So if you're looking to get in the game, I would recommend getting it. You'd have to stuff around with some of the settings and suit it to you, but it is a good, fun arcade sort of game. 
Anyway, guys, if you want to see more of Ride 2 or you want me to showcase a bike or whatever, let me know. Shoot it in the comment section. It's always greatly appreciated. Slap that thumbs up button too. It means a lot to me. And until next time, guys, peace. <laughs>